So now we're looking at how to graph the line of an equation using its slope and y-intercept. Uh, our first step is to put it into slope-intercept form. If you remember, that is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and 0b is the y-intercept. Now thankfully with our given equation we have y equals negative x minus 3. Now if we rewrite that y equals mx plus b there's an invisible 1 in between the negative and the x so this is essentially y equals negative 1x plus negative 3. So what that tells us is that the slope m equals negative 1 and the y-intercept is 0 negative 3 because b equals negative 3 in the form y equals mx plus b. <coughs> Now we need to look at the slope in a little bit more detail. So if m equals negative 1, anytime we have a whole number, that's the same thing as that whole number over 1, which equals rise over run, the definition of slope. So what we have is rise equals negative 1 and our run equals 1. So for every 1 we go down, we go 1 to the right. We'll start off by plotting our y-intercept. 0, negative 3. So at, from the origin we just go down 3 units. So 1, 2, 3. Now our rise is negative 1, our run is 1, so we go down 1 and over 1. And just so we can make sure, let's go down 1 and over 1 from that. And down 1 and over 1 from that. And we could also go backwards, going up 1 and left 1. And then as always, we simply connect the dots and you could just use the two I just put more on there to make sure that our line is accurate I'm essentially checking before I graph so drawing a line through the points we now have the graph of y equals negative x minus 3 using the slope and y-intercept. And if you think back to our first examples where we are plotting a line given a point and the slope, this is essentially the same thing. The difference is, is that we have to find our y-intercept, our, our first point, and our slope. But then the process is essentially the same as if we were given any point and the slope itself.